Hey you, my name is Joseph Warren and today I'm going to give you my top three favorite ETF investments for young investors. Now I want to be clear, these are not investment recommendations. These are simply ideas that you can research further if you would like. If you invest, you invest at your own risk and there's always a risk that you will lose money. So before we jump into it, let me tell you what an ETF is. An ETF is an exchange traded fund. All that means is that it's a fund or basket of investments that trades on an exchange. That's similar to how stocks are traded. So for instance, it allows you to diversify with just one holding. One of the funds I'm going to go over today actually has 1400 different companies in it, more than that actually. So with just buying one share of that, you get access to 1400 different companies. Now, all of these that I'm talking about are made up 100% of stocks, which is partial ownership in a company. And that means your money goes up as the companies go up and they go down as the companies go down. They're considered riskier than bonds. So these are definitely risky and you want to do your own research and make sure you're comfortable taking on these risks. And the reason I'm saying these are for younger investors is because usually younger investors can take on more risk. So if you're very comfortable with risk, these ideas might be for you. And remember, when it comes to any investment, lower price equals lower risk. The lower the price of entry, the less risk you are actually taking on. Here we go. Here's number three of my top three favorite ETFs for young investors. This one is a Vanguard fund. Vanguard is known for having very low fees and it is the Vanguard ESG US stock ETF. The symbol for that is ESGV, V is in Victor. The philosophy of this is to invest in companies that are considered socially, environmentally, and governmentally responsible. To get an idea of the philosophy, you can consider all the industries that they exclude or do not allow in the fund. They do not allow adult entertainment, gambling, alcohol, tobacco, fossil fuels, nuclear energy, or anything else that's considered socially irresponsible or vices. But despite this, despite what might, some might consider a limitation or maybe being kind of goody two shoes, they've outperformed the S&P 500 in recent years. So it allows you to invest in a socially responsible way, do the right thing, support industries that are maybe more socially responsible while outperforming the top 500 companies or the top largest 500 companies in the United States. Some examples of holdings in this fund are Apple, Visa, and United Health Group. And you know, it's top three because you get to do the right thing and at the same time, you're outperforming the S&P 500. Win, win. Here's my second favorite ETF for young investors. This is an Invesco fund that's passively managed. And like the other one, it has low fees. Maybe not as low, but still pretty low. This is the Invesco NASDAQ Next Gen 100 ETF. The ticker symbol for that is QQQJ. Now, let me give you some background on what this is. If you're familiar with the famous NASDAQ, the NASDAQ is made up of the 100 largest US companies that are non-financial. Examples of companies in the, in the NASDAQ index are Pepsi, Facebook, Google, Netflix, and you know, you can think of the NASDAQ as the varsity team. It's like your father's investment, your father's or grandfather's index. It contains these really huge behemoth companies that are well established. The NASDAQ Next Gen 100 is the next 100 in line. These are up and coming companies that if one of the companies from the top 100 were to fall off would be pushed up from the junior varsity team to varsity. So this contains companies like Citrix, Wix.com. It contains companies like Zscaler that you may have heard of, really up and coming companies with a lot of promise that aren't being targeted because a lot of the larger companies in the NASDAQ like Facebook, Google are being targeted for being too powerful and being able to kind of sway, sway things in one way or the other, just basically for being very large and powerful behemoth type companies. So a lot of promise in the QQQJ. I'm not currently invested, but I am looking for the right entry point. So this is an idea you might want to look at for the future. And it's a very new fund, so it doesn't have much of a track record, but I, I like it. It's technological heavy and it's up and coming companies. So it's good for a younger person who wants to invest for the long term. 
Now here's number one, my top favorite ETF for young investors, the ARK Innovation ETF. The, the ticker symbol for this is ARKK. This year, just year to date since January, it's done about 82%. It's performed very well. And the philosophy of this is to invest in disruptive, innovative technologies and industries. It invests in things like AI, Internet of Things, genomics, and you know, DNA-type DNA technologies, next-gen internet, or like the next stage of the internet, things like that. And it's led by a very smart lady named Catherine Wood, and I have actually am an investor in that, full disclosure, I invested in it towards the middle of this year. And it's my top favorite just because of the promise of a lot of these innovative companies. We've all seen how fast technology is moving nowadays. I'm a huge believer in a lot of the companies in there. There's companies like Tesla, Zillow, Square. I love Square. Square is an amazing company. Teladoc Health even, even includes Spotify. So a lot of these really innovative companies that are doing things differently than other companies are. This is a very exciting investment. I said it's made about 82% year to date over the past year up until you know the third quarter, it did 115%. So it's you know way outperforming a lot of indexes. ARKK actually won the active ETF of the year in 2019. So they've been recognized for the great work that they've done, making a huge return for their investors. I believe in it. Some would consider it very risky as it's disruptive technology that's potentially you know 100% stock. So you're kind of riding on these companies but it's an exciting fund to be in, especially if you can get it in at the right price. And it's been growing extremely well this year because this year has been kind of one of those anomalies that really allow technology, it's time to shine. So that's my top favorite. Check these out. Be sure to do your own research. Remember that none of this was a recommendation. These are simply ideas and you have to make your own investment decisions. If you would like me to give you actual advice, feel free to Look in the description box below. You can schedule a phone consultation with me. Happy to talk with you. Another thing I got going on is I'm doing a webinar on Sunday, January 3rd, 2021, if we make it there. <laughs> and this webinar is on the actions. It's on igniting the money mindset and the actions that wealthy people take that allow them to become wealthy and stay wealthy. Things like asking for what you want. Things like knowing what you want in the first place. So of course, one of the things that wealthy people do is they put their money to work. They put it into investments so that their money is making money for them. And these are just some ideas for you. Be sure to take them with a grain of salt. Look them up yourself if you would like. Or if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below with any questions you have. Or what are your top favorite investments? Do you have any investment ideas that you'd like to share in the comments? You can leave those below. Thank you very much for watching and Happy investing.